All video projectors use a very bright light to project the image, and most modern ones can correct any curved spluriness and other inconsistencies through manual settings. Video projectors are widely used for many applications such as conference room presentations, classroom training, home theater and concerts. Projectors are widely used in many schools and other educational settings, sometimes connected to an interactive whiteboard to interactively teach pupils. Overview A video projector, also known as a digital projector, may project onto a traditional reflective projection screen, or it may be built into a cabinet with a translucent rear projection screen to form a single unified display device. Common display resolutions for contemporary portable projectors include SVGA, XGA, 720p, and 1080p. The cost of a device is determined by its resolution and its light output. A projector with a higher light output is required for a larger screen or for a room with a larger amount of ambient light. For example, a light output of approximately 1500 to 2500 ANSI lumens is suitable for small screens viewed in rooms with low ambient light, approximately 2500 to 4000 lumens is suitable for medium-sized screens with some ambient light, over 4000 lumens is needed for very large screens or for use in rooms with no lighting control such as conference rooms. A few camcorders have a built-in projector suitable to make a small projection, a few more powerful Pico projectors are pocket-sized, and many projectors are portable. Projection Technologies Court projector using cathode ray tubes. This typically involves a blue, a green, and a red tube. This is the oldest system still in regular use, but falling out of favor largely because of the bulky cabinet. However, it does provide the largest screen size for a given cost. This also covers three tube home models which, while bulky, can be moved. LCD projector using LCD light gates. This is the simplest system, making it one of the most common and affordable for home theaters and business use. Its most common problem is a visible screen door or pixelation effect, although recent advances have reduced the severity of this effect. DLP projector using Texas Instruments DLP technology. This uses one, two, or three microfabricated light valves called digital micro-mirror devices. The single and double DMD versions use rotating color wheels in time with the mirror refreshes to modulate color. The most common problem with the single or two DMD varieties is a visible rainbow, which some people perceive when moving their eyes. More recent projectors with higher speed and otherwise optimized color wheels have lessened this effect. Systems with 3 DMDs never have this problem, as they display each primary color simultaneously. LCOS projectors Such projectors often process light in the Fourier domain, which enables correction of optical aberrations using Zernike polynomials. Some commercially available technologies include Dealer JVC's Direct Drive Image Light Amplifier based on LCOS technology, SXRD Sony's proprietary variant of LCOS technology. LED projectors use one of the above-mentioned technologies for image creation, with the difference that they use an array of light-emitting diodes as the light source, negating the need for lamp replacement. Hybrid LED and laser diode system developed by Casio uses a combination of light-emitting diodes and 445 nanometers laser diodes as the light source. While images processed with DLP chip, laser diode projectors have been developed by Microvision and AAXA Technologies. Microvision laser projectors use Microvision's patented laser beam steering technology, whereas AAXA Technologies uses laser diodes plus LCOS. Obsolete technology Zidoff or oil film projectors. LEA light valves. Schmidt Port, developed by Kloss Video. Tal area oil film projectors. Do it yourself video projectors. With a growing do it yourself community and an increasing interest in low cost devices, 
Some hobbyists have endeavored to build their own projectors from kits, source components, or from scratch. Through the Internet, the community is now able to obtain plans to construct DIY video projectors. There is a growing trend toward building them for domestic requirements and classroom use. The DIY projectors are now being used both in developed countries and in developing countries in the interest of providing education as well as for entertainment purposes.